Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, tonight we're going to talk about something that is crucial when you're dealing with gun controllers from the left. Any type of progressive movement, they always sell you on the ends, but they never show you the means. That's incredibly important because in America, if they were to straight jump to their end goal, it would never work. They would immediately get rebuffed. They would get re uh, refuted all over the place, which is why they go with the model of death by a thousand cuts. They've done it for 100 years in this country, 200 years in Europe. This is not a new tactic, but it's their dedicated way to approach and attack. But this is why this channel exists. We look at exactly what they say. They look at We look at the how, and we see through their goals and what they want to do and how you get there, and that's the problem. I want to hear from you guys on this because this is crucial. When you identify what they're saying here and the backstory of what's required to get their goals, you'll see it as well, and let me know in the comments field below. But before I dive into this article from Oregon, I'm going to make an administrative announcement. I'm expanding this channel. I have some ambitions to go into a different media, to do a bunch of different things that can really shake things up and take the Second Amendment on the offense. But I need your help. I'm looking to hire people. If they want to be a side hustle, if they want to be full-time, whatever they want, I will work on that. But I'm looking for investigative journalists, investigative, investigative citizens, a, a person who is retired and wants to do some work, gets a little bit extra coin on the side, but also work for the Second Amendment. I've got a very ambitious project that I've never seen done before, and I would love your help. If you're interested in that, live at langleyfirearmsacademy.com is the email. It's on the screen. Put in the subject line, interest in investigative journalism, and we will make something happen. I will get back to you. But let me know, because this could be something really, really cool. But now, let's dive into Oregon, because we got to get behind these. We got to get into this, guys. So, Gun control advocates push for stricter purchase laws in Oregon amid surge in shootings. Well, the interesting part here is not just the surge in shootings, it's the catalyst. So let's dive in and I'm going to show you what they're setting up. And like I said, you guys tell me when you notice where they have to go to achieve this goal. Okay. This is out of Portland. Gun control advocates said the state of Oregon should limit how many guns people can buy within a certain time frame. Okay. So now you're putting a time constraint on a constitutional right. Could you imagine what the left would do if you put a time constraint on how many times you could put out a First Amendment article or a First Amendment protest? God forbid if you limit any type of abortion or any other kind of pillar of the Democratic Party. Just saying, you can't limit a right. That's my little thing on that. But let's keep going. So, this is the true catalyst that they're trying to cite. A recently announced federal case involving two brothers accused of buying 82 guns in 18 months, 12 of which were recovered by law enforcement in traffic stops and other searches, spurred Cato to look into state and federal laws and regulations around gun buying. Now, this has failed in Oregon previously, so this is not a new thing, but they're trying again. They're trying to put limits on how many you can purchase, and what they're going to try to go for is the trafficking angle. Okay. In short, there is no limit to how many guns you can buy. A spokesman for the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms said, Federal gun dealers only alert the agency and local law enforcers if someone buys two or more handguns within a five-day time period. That's existing federal law. Well, these guys want to change it on the Oregon level, on the state level. But this is what they're going to try to do. Check this out, and this is where it gives away their end goal. The Oregon legislature failed to pass a bill two years ago that would have allowed people to buy one handgun and one rifle within a 30-day time period. Okay, so let's just stop right there. You can't limit rights, but they're going to try to anyway. And this is where they, they really let the cat out of the bag. Quote, the idea behind one fire a month really would help cut down on gun trafficking. That major issue is, excuse me, that is so weirdly, weirdly worded. That's a major issue that we have with it is gun trafficking, Okamoto said. Okay, here's the end goal. Get rid of gun trafficking. Get rid of gun trafficking. We can't have gun trafficking because that's bad. How are you going to get there? Oh, we don't want to talk about it. Well, I'm going to tell you right now. So the way that it's written is you basically can buy one handgun or excuse me, two handguns within a week. But if you go to a different dealer, there is no consequence. There's no tracking system. So if they were to pass this law and say one handgun and one rifle, then nothing would happen because you could just go to a different dealer. So what does that require? If you're going to limit someone on a constitutional purchase of a firearm, that means you have to have an online registration where you know everyone inside that state. And that right there is the means that they use to justify the ends. They don't want to tell you about it, but that is what that is. And that's why I brought this article to you guys. They will never tell you what is required to get to their end goals because they want to hide it. 
But in order to limit the Constitution purchase of one rifle and one handgun per month, the only way they can do it is if they have an online database to know you purchase from one store to prevent you from another store. And that's what I've got for you guys tonight. Let me know what you think, and I will see you tomorrow morning on The Bullet Points. I'm Braden. See you later.